All right, everybody, welcome back. We're on level three of lesson 16, moving right along. So this level is all about moving sprites. You can change your sprite's position based on key presses in the same way you change its animations. So do this, add a conditional statement to check if the right arrow key has been pressed down. Um, let's just do this as we go along. So we're gonna add a conditional statement, all right. Add an if statement inside your draw loop, done. Use the key down to detect if the right arrow key has been pressed. All right, uh, key down, if right, okay. Um, add code to move the sprite right if the right arrow is down. Add the counter pattern inside the if statement to make the sprite move to the right. Okay, so we're going back into this. We're gonna do this. Uh, if, okay, so sprite.x gets sprite.x uh, plus, I don't know, mm, we'll say three. All right, so let's run it. So, oh, we got it, we got a, oh, that's because it's not called Sprite, it's called Bug. All right, that's easy. Bug, bug, there we go. All right, variable bug, okay. So if key down right, bug.x gets bug.x plus three. So we're gonna run it and right key. Cool. All right, that was easy. Do you need to change the sprites X or Y property? Yes, we did. Okay, so we're going to finish that, and I will see you on level four.